Hey there bloody doing ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're doing real well. Massive merch drop coming, huge announcement, 1st of July, holy bloody shit balls, this is gonna be massive. So take work off, get your mum to write your bloody letter so you don't have to go to school, whatever you need to do, make sure you are available for this merch drop. Ladies and gentlemen, last year there were people emailing me for months saying, what about the hoodies, the hoodies, the hoodies? They sold out quick and they're gonna do the exact same thing this time. So I, I plead with you. Get in early because they are limited and they will never be back. July 1st, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you there. G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. We've got another one, motherfuckers. We've got another one. We've caught him in the act. We've reeled him in, ladies and gents. We've caught another American talking mad shit about our magnificent nation. And because I'm always the one out here defending Australia from these fucking idiots. Wanna go get some sushi? It's not sushi, it's sush. Fucking sush? Who the fuck calls sushi sush? What? Oh, that angers me. I don't know why. If you... Oh, way too much. Way too much. I don't even know if I can swallow it. I'm a shell. I'm not enjoying sitting here watching people shit on a national pastime. We don't talk shit about Americans' national pastimes, school shootings. We don't. It's time to meet this little motherfucker, this little whippersnapper. And I'll call him a whippersnapper because he doesn't have a beard and there are only two types of people that don't have beards, children and people with vaginas. What do you have, mate? He is an American and he does not like Australia at all. His name is Tristan and you can tell from this photo right here that his daddy was an investment banker who absolutely hated his guts. His mother was a, well, she was a model and then became a crack whore. <laughs> and started sucking dicks for $20. And not even American $20 bills, like Australian $20 bills, which is like $14.50. His childhood was uh, filled with no friends, and now he thinks he's made it because he's got a Starbucks reward card. Fucking killing it, champ. Tristan K... I am not even gonna try and pronounce that. I am not going to pronounce that because that sounds eerily similar to that slightly racist cheese that we have in Australia. So I'll allow Tristan to uh, pronounce it for us. How's it going everyone? My name's Tristan Kuhn and I'd like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Oh for fuck's sake, his last name's Kuhn. For the purposes of this video, not to get taken down by YouTube, let's call him Tristan Cheese. Tristan Cheese is a young fella traveling Australia as a backpacker. A dirty backpacker. They are fucking dirty fucks. Have you ever been to a backpacker's? I have, unfortunately. It is disgusting. There's jizz up on the ceilings, stale piss on the blankets. There's an unloved fetus around every corner. There's hymens as far as the eye can see. Are you getting my point? They're fucking filthy. Anyway, Tristan uploaded a video called 10 Things Americans Hate About Australia. Huh, so let's watch it. What's good y'all, Tristan here, and today I'm going to be going over 10 things that Americans, or at least this American, hates about Australia. You know, hate's a little bit of a strong word, but I would say these are things that I dislike, frustrate, or annoy me about Australia. No, 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 don't go backpedaling now, you little motherfucker. Alright, you put a video up titling it, 10 things you hate about this fucking fine nation, alright? Don't go backpedaling now, don't make a video that's not even about the title, that's like me. Making a video saying 10 reasons Isaac Butterfield has the biggest penis in the world. When in reality, it's a fine two inches. So shut the fuck up, Tristan. Number one is the sun. Oh, for fuck's sake, how can you be mad at the sun, mate? It's the fucking sun. You have the same sun. I don't go around to other countries going, oh, fuck, I don't like the air here. The air is not appropriate. Fuck off, Tristan, you little shit. There is actually a hole in the ozone layer of the atmosphere above Australia, so the sun here is much more strong and it burns you way more quickly than it will anywhere in the States. Bullshit, Tristan. Fucking bullshit. That is an absolute myth, mate. In fact, when the scientists discovered the ozone hole, it was over Antarctica, not Australia. The problem they were facing was is if it grew, maybe it would come over Australia and then all those harmful UVs, etc. would fuck everybody up even more. But in fact, what it has done, it has shrunk which is actually really good and in the video Tristan goes on to say that he feels hotter here he feels the sun burns him quicker oh baby but that's actually true you see Australia has the highest per capita uh, skin cancer ratio than any other nation and data shows that almost a million cases which proves the point that we're all burning like fuck but there are a few reasons for that one being culture everyone here loves the beach apart from me because I'm pale as fuck also Australia is 3.4% closer to the sun than the north is during the summer. Because of the axis of the orbit, this increases the UV factor by 7%. Long story short, 
Tristan, chill the fuck out. We're all burning here, mate. Throw the fucking t-shirt on, you fucking turd. Now the next thing is more of just a minor inconvenience, but that is you cannot pay for gas at the pump. You actually have to walk inside the gas station to pay for gas. Oh my God, bro. You got to get off your fat American ass and walk 10 meters. Oh, we've got a day for people like you here in Australia. It's called Are You OK Day. Are you fucking all right, mate? Now my next one, oh, this really frustrates me sometimes. And that is you cannot turn on red here. So in America, you can turn right on at a stoplight. Well, they drive on the left side of the road here, so it'd be like turning left here. Well, you're not allowed to do that. Nothing is more frustrating than being stuck at a red light, knowing that you are perfectly safe to turn left. There are no cars, but you're not able to do it. Well, I can think of one thing more frustrating than that, and that's turning on the red signal and getting T-boned by a sad trailer. But I guess you're in a hurry because you're running late because you had to walk inside the fucking servo, which took you three minutes. Mate, you got a tough life. Number four is something that doesn't bother me one bit because I don't drink sodas, but it would really piss a lot of Americans off, and that is that there are no free refills. If you don't hate it, why is it on your list, shit for brains? All right, now this one really gets me. This is, of all the things I dislike about Australia, this one, like, I really hate. Like, this is a true hate about Australia. And that is that they have speed cameras everywhere. Like, you cannot speed here in Australia. Hang on, are we the only country with speed cameras? Like, don't get me wrong, speed cameras suck. There's nothing worse than getting a fine. But they do save lives in that 100 meter bit of the road where everyone slows down and then speeds back up again. So the next thing I don't like about Australia is the Wi-Fi here as a whole is just kind of shitty. Kind of shitty? Kind of... Let me do some testing right here. Our Wi-Fi is fucking perfect if you compare it to... Uh, let me just scroll down here. Ooh, Kazakhstan. You know what, Tristan? You may have a point. Next one isn't too big of a deal, but it does get a little annoying, and that is you pretty much always have to pay extra for like any condiments, sauces you want. Oh, finally a man after my own heart. Charging 20 cents is absolutely deplorable for tomato sauce. It absolutely makes me sick, and I feel ill right now just thinking about it. I've got PTSD from thinking about people charging extra for fucking sauce. It is un-Australian. And it's usually like quite expensive for some sauce. Like you're gonna be paying between like 50 cents and $2 for a little bit of sauce. Two fucking dollars, that is a human rights violation. Now this one is another one that really frustrates me because this is another thing that I think is just a, like a kind of like an overstep of the government. And that is that they mandate, like it is illegal to ride a bike here without wearing a helmet. I hate to do this after all the shit I've talked, but hey, I agree with Tristan. Cyclists, if you want to risk your life by not wearing a helmet, it should be absolutely encouraged. Hashtag fuck cyclists. Now Tristan went on to talk about how flies are icky and alcohol is too expensive, but I found some more horrendous material on his YouTube page. Oh, strap yourselves in ladies and gentlemen, this is gonna fucking piss you off. He has no idea about the Aussie vernacular, as seen in his video here called American vs Aussie Slang. Capsicum. What? Say that again? Capsicum. I'm gonna eat some capsicum. <laughs> <laughs> What an absolute fool you are, Tristan. Everybody knows what a capsicum is, all right? A capsicum is when a, a female, a lesbian female, performs oral sex on another lesbian female. That's what a capsicum is. It's a, it's a slang term. It sounds like capsicum, like... It's just, it's just a different word, so you just call it something different. Cereal? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, you fucking idiot, it's eating pussy. Here's some examples of where you would use the term capsicum in, in Australia. Damn, that's one red capsicum. Well, golly gosh, what a spicy capsicum. My sexual partner's capsicum smells not bad. You're welcome, America. Write that down. Now you know. But that little prick didn't stop there. He went after something so Australian, something so sacred in the hearts and minds of every single person across this great nation. We all love it. We all have it within ourselves. Fairy bread. You motherfucker, say what you want about our internet, about our flies, about our alcohol, but you leave fucking flaring fairy bread out of it. Alright, so, fairy bread. Fairy bread is a very Australian thing. I've never heard of it. A lot of these things, you know, I've heard of before. Fairy bread, never heard of in my life. Oh, you've never heard of it before, you pig! Why don't you just unjustifiably attack this Australian icon, you, you boy who just refuses to wear a shirt anywhere? I'm not a fan. 
be honest. I'm not a fan at all. Fuck you to the moon, Tristan. You absolute scum. All right? Australian fairy bread is an absolute icon. It's delicious. It's amazing. And you're a dickhead. The sprinkles are like hard and crunchy. And it's like... The crunchiness is just too much for you, is it? Fucking harden up, mate. Fucking harden up. Get a layer of concrete on there from Bunnings and fucking harden up. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen of this video, everybody is welcome in Australia, regardless of your skin colour, religion or creed. Except for Tristan. Tristan, fuck off. We're full. Oh, whoops. Be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East. Mid-extinct. See you later. Bye-bye.